why I ride? I'm riding this year for my Uncle Bill, who was diagnosed with cancer in 2019 and sadly passed away in 2020. Love you, Uncle Bill. I ride to honour all the amazing people in my life that have faced cancer. Since I started doing the ride, sadly the number of people I ride for continues to grow. I love being on my bike, so I hope that the impact I can make through my ride will contribute to finding a cure. This is my first year riding with the Tour de Cure and I'm riding for research. And I'm riding in the Tour de Cure, raising funds for cancer research. I've been riding since 2012 because I truly believe the research of the BC Cancer Foundation is leading to better outcomes. I ride to honour the memory of Charlie Patrick for the love his mother has of him and for my love of her. I'm riding in memory of my mom who died over 16 years ago. I ride for those who are unable to inspire those who can. I started riding as it gave me freedom as I'm a cancer survivor myself. Now. I ride to support cancer research so we can get rid of this disease forever. And I'm riding this year because I care about helping cancer patients. And we ride in memory of Kathy Stonehouse. I'm riding in support of my brother's fight against cancer. Let's do this. Hello, my name is Jerry Oldman and I'd like to thank the BC Cancer Foundation for asking me to, to do this little opening for you. So I thought I'd share a song for you, or a chant, and it's uh, called uh, Protection Against Negativity. Hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, 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 hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, 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 hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, Thank you for answering the call to do fundraising for the Cancer Foundation. And also to honor and respect all of our friends and relatives that are fighting cancer and the ones that have gone on. So I'd just like to thank you and have a safe ride today. Welcome to the inaugural Tour de Cure, presented by Wheaton Precious Metals. I am grateful to be speaking to you today from the unceded territory of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh Nations. We're honored that you have chosen to ride with us, BC Cancer's very own cycling event to power research. Many of you are riding for different reasons, to honor those who you've loved or lost, and I know many of you have ridden with us for years. I ride today because of my aunt, who is right now facing a devastating diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. BC Cancer Foundation is so proud to partner with our great friends at Wheaton Precious Metals, who have been such supporters of this event for so many years. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce my good friend and longtime captain of the Silver Bullets, Randy Smallwood, CEO of Wheaton Precious Metals. Thanks, Sarah. All of us at Wheaton Precious Metals take enormous pride in our partnership with the Tour de Cure and the vital work that it supports at BC Cancer. Although we are not riding together again this year, we are together in our hearts and in our efforts to keep the momentum going in this very special event for a special cause that ultimately saves lives. Together we ride on because we know that cancer will be stopped one day. And if anyone can accomplish that goal, our Tour de Cure community can. No matter what this past year and a half has thrown at us, we are proud to be a part of the community that rises to this challenge and refuses to slow down when faced with a disease that takes away oh so many of our loved ones. You inspire us so much, we see you and we are with you. We all have our reasons to ride. I ride because I have seen firsthand the impacts of cancer and have personally lost loved ones to this dreadful disease. I stand here today for everyone that has been touched by cancer and for the hope of a future free of cancer. Cancer is relentless, but so are we. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Howard Lim, a fellow rider and a medical oncologist with BC Cancer, to tell you a bit more about how your donations can make a difference. Thank you. Thank you, Randy, for both your personal and professional commitment to the Tour de Cure. We at BC Cancer are incredibly grateful for our entire Tour de Cure community 
Each of you plays an important role in propelling world-class leading research and innovative care. While we've come such a long way in our ability to cure some cancers, it's still a disease that claims the lives of far too many. We still have a long way to go in stopping cancer. With your help, we will get there. The road ahead remains a challenging one again this year. And so we appreciate more than ever your unwavering dedication to our cause. Every day at BC Cancer, I witness the resilience and strength in the community that fills me with immense pride. I feel that same spirit here today with our Tour de Cure riders. There's nothing we can't accomplish together. Thanks to you and the funds you've raised to date, we've been able to introduce innovative care for patients throughout BC. In just this past year, we've launched a first-in-class lung cancer screening program, developed a project to monitor cancer patients at home on Vancouver Island who are receiving both chemotherapy and radiation therapy for head and neck or lung cancer. And we found a new treatment that improves the survival rate in men with advanced prostate cancer. This just scratches the surface of the impact you've made. On a personal note, I'm proud to be also hitting the road again with you this year. I ride because, like all of you, I've had friends or family that's been affected with cancer. I also ride to support the innovative care and research that's going on here at BC Cancer. On behalf of everyone at BC Cancer and the patients we serve, thank you for your support and commitment to our mission. I remember Nicholas says, uh, a pretty active um, kid growing up. When he was about 24, I thought I would uh, see what he liked, how he liked cycling. And uh, so, you know, I had a couple bikes, so he would ride the bikes around Vancouver and stuff. He was still living here. And uh, that's kind of how he really got into cycling and got the fever, it really stuck. And then he bought a couple of his own bikes and and uh, rode and trained uh, as much as he could. You know, thinking back to when Nicholas was first diagnosed, um, we just didn't see it coming. My daughter, who's a nurse, said uh, she had just seen Nicholas, and she said that he doesn't look very well, so they went into St. Paul's. You know, they ran a whole battery of tests, and uh, that's when they called us in and said he'd, uh, that he had cancer. And uh, yeah, the worst day of my life. Not just cancer, but stage four cancer. And you know, where there, where's one, two, and three? How come we have to start at four? He was ready to fight it. He felt that if he, he, if he ate well and continued to exercise, that his body would be strong enough. He'd ride his bike to chemotherapy. He was responding re really quite well. He decided that uh, he'd like to go to Italy. BC Cancer here uh, found a clinic in Sicily, in Syracuse, that uh, you know, would perform the same treatment as he was receiving here. We took him to the airport and he flew off on August 1st. And then after a couple months, uh, we thought, well, let's go see how he's doing. And he looked really, really good. He was really strong. Uh, so he and I rode together in, in Syracuse. I ran, I, to and from uh, his treatment again every couple of weeks. And then uh, in November, it just kind of took a turn. He had an MRI and a CT scan that identified the cancer had spread from, because it was originally a colon cancer. And so they had to up, like increase the, the, the chemotherapy. He just kind of struggled with the, the newer, um, stronger drugs. It was just a couple days after that, he said, uh, why don't we return to Canada? So we made the arrangements to fly home and we, we got back on the 23rd of April. He had a difficult night, our first night at home. And the next morning he wasn't feeling very well at all. And so uh, the ambulance came and uh, took him into the Kelowna General Hospital. His sisters came from Vancouver and um, we were all together Thursday morning when he died. I think for Nicholas, early detection might have made the difference. And so that's why I'm riding this year, is just to raise awareness that uh, cancer can strike even the young and the healthy, uh, like Nicholas. So we brought Nicholas' bike back, and I thought he'd be riding it, but he's not. And, uh,
it's a way for me to 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 be to be with him. After you know holding the handlebars for a few hours, it's like that's that's Nicholas, you know. I just feel that um, we're still together and we're riding together, even though you know he's he's riding in here. Together they guide a single bicycle. Instead of being ridden, it is escorted. This bike symbolizes so much more about our important journey. A journey that started long before this weekend and one that will continue as long as cancer exists. This bike represents the person who once rode it. A father, a sister, a wife, a friend, a teammate. A life cut short by an unrelenting disease and the once ridden bikes in our homes and unfulfilled spaces in our hearts that are left behind. To all those who are no longer with us, we dedicate this ride to you. But as we embark with the spirit of those lost, we must not forget the fight of those living. This bike also represents its escorts and all of the survivors and those currently battling cancer. As we push ourselves and test our limits this weekend, I encourage you to reflect on the amazing courage and dedication of these people. Tomorrow's ride hardly compares to the journey that you have already endured and continue to endure. You are heroes among heroes in our quest to break down cancer, and your participation is incredibly inspirational. Why do we ride? Because our sweat is nothing compared to their tears. Because our challenge is nothing compared to their fight because we are all on one journey. Hi, I'm Laura Brown, two-time Olympian and Olympic bronze medalist. I'm so excited, along with my friends from Team RBC, to ride alongside you in support of all cancer patients, those who have lost their lives, those who are fighting the battle, and those who have survived and overcome. I ride to honor my loved ones who have been affected by cancer through the beautiful sport of cycling and to do my part in cancer research as we're all in this together. While we're eager to hit the road and start cycling, there are a few safety tips I want to go over first. As this is an unsupported ride, you are responsible for your own safety. Stay hydrated and fuel up. Make sure you bring enough water and snacks to get you through the day. And be sure to take mid-ride breaks to re-energize and refuel. Be prepared. Please carry a repair kit, which includes a spare inner tube, patch kit, tire levers, pump, and multi-tool. Please also carry cash, credit card, ID, and a cell phone. Obey all rules of the road. Remember, you are sharing the road with other users. Keep your eyes on the road. Stay vigilant for changing road conditions. And please indicate to your fellow cyclists of any gravel, debris, potholes, or train tracks you might encounter along the way. Ride predictably and in control. Avoid weaving and any erratic behavior. Please stay alert and be aware of fellow motorists and cyclists. Please ride single file and stay as far right on the road as it is safe to do so. Thank you everyone. And from everyone at RBC Royal Bank and Team RBC, be safe and have fun. Hello, I'm Ryan Ousnett, partner here at KPMG and proud co-captain of KPMG's Tour to Cure team. Our team has been out on the road training to ride with you tomorrow, and more importantly, he's been raising funds for the BC Cancer Foundation for the past 10 years. I ride for my dad, who continues to deal with skin cancer, and for family and friends who've had to deal with cancer in the past, including my wife Elaine, my late grandmother, and my wife's late aunt. And now it's my honor to go on one final training ride to deliver the two-year fundraising total to Sarah at the BC Cancer Foundation. Thank you to all the riders, volunteers, sponsors, participants, loved ones, friends and family for supporting the 2020 and 2021 Tour de Cure presented by Wheat and Precious Metals. 
So now, without further ado, the grand total fundraising for 2020 and 2021 benefiting the BC Cancer Foundation is $5.5 million. Thank you so much for this accomplishment, benefiting all cancer patients in our province, and I hope to see you next year in person. Woo! Woo!